All right, here's another practical example of how we use a sine, the cosine, the tangent, and maybe in this case also the arctangent. Let's say we have a Cartesian coordinate system, the xy axis. Let's say we have a particular point on that. We chose the point 4, 1. That means x equals 4, y equals 1. And let's say that uh, we draw a line from the origin to that point, and we want to know the angle between that line and the x-axis. So if we take that and we draw a triangle, it would look something like this. So by now, you realize that every time we deal with the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, we typically are dealing with triangular shapes. So we have the hypotenuse h. We have the opposite side, which would be the difference between 1 and 0, that would be 1, therefore, and then the x-axis here, this distance right here, would be 4. So, we don't know what h is, we do know the opposite side, we know the adjacent side, and of course here's the angle theta, but in this case, we're trying to find out what the angle is. What is theta equal to? Alright, it's not a bad idea, whenever you deal with something like that, you actually draw your triangle like that, so it's easy to look at. So, we have the angle that we're looking for, we have the opposite and adjacent side. That sounds like the tangent, because we know that the tangent, by definition, is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And in this case, the opposite side would be 1, and the adjacent side would be 4. And now we're looking for the angle. So what do we do next? You're right, the arctangent. We can then say that means that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 1 over 4. At this point, we don't know yet. We don't need to know yet what the inverse tangent is, except that it allows us to find the angle, and our calculator helps us do that. So, take 1 divided by 4, which is 0.25, <coughs> excuse me, and then you take the arctangent, so you hit the second function button and the tangent, and so we have theta is equal to 14 degrees. So there's our angle. So, exactly the same over here. You look at the triangle, say that's my opposite side, that's my adjacent side, there's my y, there's my x. I can say that the tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, or y over x. And so, we can then say that theta is equal to the arctangent of y over x. And in our particular example, y is 1, x is 4, so we say theta is equal to the arctangent of 1 over 4. And then, just like before, when you put that in your calculator, 1 divided by 4, take the arctangent of that, you get 14 degrees. And so you know the angle between that line and the horizontal axis is 14 degrees. So, fairly straightforward, arctangent is really handy in order to, for you to find an angle if you know the opposite and, just, and the adjacent side of the triangle.